Zidane Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. Could we be in the age of teenager television? Now, I know that that sounds a bit weird, especially considering the fact that when I say teenager television, you're probably thinking of more leaning towards Adult Swim stuff rather than what I'm actually talking about. There's a lot of shows, and the simple fact of the matter is that because of this, there are shows that will be widely viewable to a large audience. Now, the simple fact of the matter is that most shows want, uh, and most YouTubers want to go towards a broad audience. And while anime is, which is my main topic on this channel, is very much leaning towards the teenage years, it doesn't lean towards adult most of the time, and it doesn't lean towards children as m most of the time. Occasionally you'll get your special snowflakes, or yeah, um, <laughs> that will be specifically meant for adults or specifically meant for children, but for the most part, a lot of anime is for teenagers. People who are not necessarily children, but also aren't necessarily adults. Now, as you guys may or may not know, I am currently 20. I am going to be 21 this month. So, that's, that's important to just be aware of. But... I have to say that a lot of the television that is currently airing is a lot more orientated towards my generation and the generation a little bit before me. Basically, or, or the generation a little bit after me. Uh, basically, this whole group. With the CW shows that are uh, for DC, iZombie, and all of those they focus on mostly adult problems, but they also deal with a lot of stuff to do with teenagers. The whole trying to come into your own thing. On top of that, there's also all of the shows that are being done on the DC network. I'm honestly, or DC Universe, whatever it's called, like Titans and whatever else, and Young Justice and all of those things. Those shows are, to put it bluntly, they're not meant for kids, <laughs> and they're not really designed specifically for adults. While adults obviously enjoy them, they're not necessarily aimed at them. They're aimed at the teenagers, which I honestly find kind of interesting. But the next thing to actually think about is also children's television. Plain and simple, there's a lot of really good shows right now. And if you really look at it, a lot of these shows, even though they're meant for children, a lot of times kids aren't going to really get what's actually going on there. And you really have to be at least a teenager to truly understand certain things. Like, uh, the complexities of the relationships in Steven Universe, or the, um, or a lot of other things. <laughs> the really enjoying the love aspect, uh, the love square aspect of Miraculous, the, or I guess it's now a diamond, I don't know what to call that anymore, because hexagon, maybe? Maybe rectangle because the fact that it's complicated. <laughs> We're not getting into that right now. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a really weird situation. Um, <laughs> but, and then there's other shows like uh, there was Gravity Falls. Now there's uh, The Owl House and Amphibia, which are both really good shows don't at me um <laughs> as well as i i've heard a lot of good things about uh crap 
the Craig of the Creek or whatever it's called. And while I haven't seen it, it's I've heard that it's really good. And the same goes for Kipo, except I have actually seen that. These shows, while they may be aimed at children, really only the teenagers and the adults are fully going to get something out of these shows. To see these little relationships that kids, they're just going to fly right over their heads. But for us adults and teenagers, it's the perfect time to watch these shows. Especially teenagers, as let's be honest, teenagers have a lot of going on in their heads. And some of those shows actually handle these things really well, especially considering the fact that some of them are not the greatest shows on the planet. Like, I don't know. Like, seriously, if you look at the, uh, these things, like Steven Universe Future, even though I haven't finished it yet, yes, I'm sorry. But even though I haven't finished that yet, I actually do know that it deals with a lot of the problems that teenagers are really going through. We have stress, and while it may seem like pretty small to some people, to us it's the end of the world. And learning how to handle that is a big step so could this be the age of teenager shows i honestly think it might be previously like i said shows were only really aimed at kids or adults kids shows were aimed to get kids to buy toys and adults were dealing with other things um <laughs> But now, a lot more of these shows are dealing with a wider range of situations, and are honestly, I think we're better off for it. But we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens in the future. But anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I know this was a weird video, don't worry, we will be getting back into actual videos soon. I just kind of want to get this off my chest. Um, but anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments below. And of course, if you do, uh, didn't, uh, you are new, please subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you want to support the channel even more, then definitely head down to the description and check out all of our links down there. But anyways, guys, I've been Electric Ninja, and I will see you guys next time. But on.